Okay, good morning, learners. So um, this is Miss Toby, your accounting teacher. So the first thing I'm going to teach you now is financial statements. There's going to be many parts of this, but the first part of financial statements, I'm going to start from the beginning, which is the accounting cycle. I hope you remember your accounting cycle. Let's just go through it. So it's got five parts. We're going to do just five parts of this cycle. Uh, it's got six, but the one we are going to leave it out because it's a yearly event. We are going to do the monthly ones. So what's the first thing? How do I know that there's been, there is a business that is um, functional? The first thing will be transaction. An example of a transaction will be, let's say the name of the business is Toby's Textbooks and the owner is Miss Toby. So usually the first transaction will be Miss Toby deposited. 50,000 into the bank account as capital contribution on the 1st of March, 2022. So that's when the business started. So the transaction will have a date, uh, the method of payment, which is a deposit, bank deposit, and the person that the business is transacting with. So we are doing the books now. This is the books of Toby's textbooks. So the person that, the, that Toby's textbooks is transacting with in this case is Toby. Miss Toby. Then the next transaction, another example will be um, bought. Now we are dealing with Toby's textbook, so we don't have to mention the business. So bought trading stock of 20,000 from study and master and paid by EFT. So can you see the person that the business is transacting with, which is study and master? What did they buy trading stock? How much? 20,000. And how did they pay EFT? That is a transaction. So how do you know that a transaction has happened? Like if I'm an accountant now and I come at the end of the year to do the books or somebody else comes to do the books, how will they know? They were not there when the transaction happened. Or if they were there, they were not following the owner around to see what happens. So we have what we call source documents. That's what the accountant will use or the bookkeeper will use to, to, to record. So examples of source documents will be the bank statement, like we saw the capital, we'll see it on the bank statement or EFT, we'll see that 20,000 on, on the EFT. Receipts, cash register roll or cash register tape, invoices, credit notes, debit notes, all those are source documents. And each source document is um, recorded in a different book. Now, what is the first book of entry? So from the source documents, you take it to journals. If you say journals, you're correct. So for example, uh, EFT is a payment. So money went out of the business. So it will go to the cash payments journal. And then the receipt shows that you received money or this capital money came in. So it will go to the cash receipt journal. And then if you buy on credit, it will go to the creditors journal. If you sell on credit, it will go to the debtors journal. If you return goods as the owner, you return to study and master, then it will go to the creditors allowance journal. If the debtors return goods to you, it will go to the the debtors allowance journal. Then we also have the general journal where you put everything else that is not a return, a sell on credit, purchase on credit, or money coming in or going out. We also have salaries journal and wages journal. All of these are the journals that are included in here. From the journals, then we post to the ledgers. If you say ledgers, you're correct. The most common ledger that you all know will be the general ledger, but we also have the two, which is the debtor's ledger and the creditor's ledger. So those are the three main ledgers that we would deal with. And then from the ledgers, so the ledgers are balanced. You, you balance them. We call it balancing. Not, not necessarily totaling, balancing, because you're going to have a balance carry down and a balance brought down. So all the balance brought downs are, are collected and put in a list, a list of accounts with the balance brought down amount. And we call that list a trial balance. It's got two sections. The balance sheet account section on top, which has the capital drawings and also assets and liabilities. And then we've got the nominal account section, which just has the income and expenses. So this, so, and then that's the accounting cycle. So what happens is, let's say we open our business in one March. So in one March, we are going to have our transactions, source documents, journals, ledgers, and trial balance. So that list has one month in it. 
So this tower balance with the list of one month in it uh, is going to be opening balance of the following month, which is April. So the op April, we have got opening balances because now this is not the first month of business. The first month of business, which is March, doesn't have opening balances. So April has opening balances. So we start, so so March, March is closing balances, will be opening balances in April. Then we go again, transactions, source documents, journals, ledgers, and then we've got trial balance. Now the trial balance is two months in it because the opening balance are also added to the current month. So we've got March and April. May we do it again. So the opening balance here now has got two months in it. Then we do May. Then when we get here, we've got three months. Then we we open opening balance here has three months. Then we go again June, and then we've got four months. Usually we've got twelve months, and the usual twelve month financial period is one March to twenty eight February. But each business can choose whatever date they want. It can be calendar year, one January to thirty one December, or it can be uh, one July to thirty June. They can choose. But now let's assume this one was the twelve months is from one March to twenty eight February twenty twenty three. So in in at the end of twenty eight Feb at the end of February twenty twenty three we've got the trial balance that has twelve months in it. So we are done for the year. Every time this is yearly, so we are done for the year. And this trial balance that has um the amounts for the year, all those balances for the whole year for twelve months. So there's twelve months in this now because we've done the whole year. This trial balance is called the pre-adjustment trial balance. A bookkeeper can do this, can do this accounting cycle from transactions to trial balance every month for twelve months. A bookkeeper and then she, the bookkeeper produces the the pre-adjustment trial balance. So the pre-adjustment trial balance. Um, may not be complete because the bookkeeper just uses source documents and bank statements, um, nothing else. They don't really check if the amount, all the months are there, all the amounts are there for 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 an, for an account like telephone. So it needs it needs an accountant to look at it and correct it. So this pre-adjustment balance is taken to an accountant. So sometimes the accountant does the cycle and then now takes the pre-adjustment trial balance. And then this now, what we deal with, with the, what we do with the pre-adjustment trial balance is going to be part two. And we call that year end procedures because this is now a yearly thing. This, this 12 months of that are here are yearly. So now we go to part two, which is called the year end adjustments. So this is the end of part one. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining the class. Uh, see you in part two. Bye.